we have to go then to um, LimeJS homepage, which is LimeJS.com. That's where you find the documentation, the community of users, a uh, starting uh, guide, and we download the zip package. If you're familiar with Git, you can also clone the repository, but I think if you're able to do that, you don't need my help in here. All right, it's been downloaded. That's uh, it's just a zip file, which we are going to extract. This is a bit slow because it's a virtual machine. And basically, this is going to give us the same folder structure that I showed you on the previous lesson, except for a few libraries that are going to be missing. And that's why we need to initiate LimeJS. We do that just once, and then we never have to do it again unless you are changing computers or reinstalling your operating system. Uh, so what we need to do is grab this folder. Uh, let's just change the name to LimeJS. We're gonna cut it, and we're gonna put it in the C drive because the path cannot have spaces. If we use documents and settings with with those spaces in between, it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's go to where this thing is. And there. CD Lime JS. And now uh, we are going to type bin backslash lime.py. That's the, that's the Python file that's inside of a bin. That's what we use to run all these commands. And we're going to run uh, init. What this does, it downloads the Google Closure Library that I mentioned in the previous lesson. It downloads it using Git, and that's why we needed to install Git. Uh, the Closure Library is used in massive web applications such as Gmail and Google Docs. Now you may wonder why do I have to use that if I'm just uh, making a small game? Well just uh, as you can use it for huge projects, you can also use it for very small projects because it, it's, it uses an approach of uh, building blocks. Uh, it's modular, you only include the single files that you need. And that makes it simple and powerful at the same time. Also, if your project ever needs to escalate, um, then you'll be on the right path because you're already using something that can be scaled into a huge game or to a huge application. This is going to take a little bit in my virtual machine, so you're just going to perceive a, a bit of a glitch once that's all finished.